The Prince Pukler Park in Bad Muskau doesn't seem like a park in the true sense of the word. It's seemingly unspoiled by human intervention. If you look closely though, it's clear someone has done a bit of something, but only very, very carefully. Prince Pukler Park became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2004, for good reason, according to park director Cord Panning. When the park is lovely on a Sunday afternoon, it seems to me one of the last bastions of peace on earth and harmony. The people here are relaxed. They're kind to each other. It's such a fabulous environment where everything is as it should be. Ein tolles Lebensumfeld, in dem alles seinen rechten Platz zu haben scheint. Prince Hermann von Pukla Moskau inherited the estates in the Oberlausitz region in 1811. Shortly afterwards, he began planning the park around his residence in Bad Muskau. His concept? A garden designed in the spirit of the Enlightenment, unfettered landscapes in which people would be free to wander about at their leisure. Prince Pukla was a visionary and one of the most colorful personalities of the 19th century. He was a cosmopolitan and a Francophile, well-traveled in England, Africa, instigator of the biggest public scandals one can possibly imagine. Married to the daughter of the Prussian Chancellor of State, he openly purchased a slave in Abyssinia, in Egypt, and then spending six months with her at the Metternich court in Vienna. He was also quite talented. He was eloquent, a great writer. He had a special talent which almost seemed out of character, landscape gardening. He found himself in this art form in a way that expressed his being and his creativity. Prince Pukla's dream became reality. 30 years of work, which ultimately ruined him financially, but made him immortal. The new castle burned to the ground in 1945 and is by now almost completely reconstructed. The Prince Pukler Park is most likely the only landscape garden in the world through which a border runs. The river Nysa separates the smaller western part from the larger eastern part of the park, which lies in Poland. Walking through the garden, visitors regularly cross over into Poland. It benefits both countries, according to the Polish park director. In the Polish part of the park, you'll find even more pure nature than on the German side. There are beautiful landscapes and many historic old trees are maintained here. The Germans enjoy coming over to see it. The Prince Pukler Park stretches across 830 hectares of land, which translates to about 280 football pitches. The Prince called this vantage point the end of the world. Here the landscape of the park melts seamlessly into the Aue River. You need some time to let the area sink in. And then the phenomenon occurs that you feel a bit more civilized when you leave and find your faith in the beauty of life has been restored. The Prince Pukler Park in Bad Muskau, an oasis of untamed nature beyond human boundaries.